Nothing sets me apart from other photographers. Any photographer can do the same thing I do. I met this guy that was teaching at the Y called Isaiah Obato. And he literally trained at the Kodokan, like the Mecca of Judo in Japan, and uh, taught stuff that was like pre-sport Judo. I mean, it was like the old, old stuff. But then he was like 80-something. So, and he was still out there teaching. And um, he introduced me to somebody, and the reason that's very important is he introduced me to somebody called Aikira, uh, Aikira uh, Okazaki, and he was only out in New Jersey on invitation of a student of his that was in the military, and they invited him over. And he taught a system called Okazaki Ha Shin Tenshin Shinryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu, and I fell in love with the weapons, the archery, the swordmanship, everything that a Japanese samurai would learn, including medicine and acupuncture. Went on to get a New York State acupuncture license from that training. Um, and that's why my vision when I do photography is a minimalistic, what they call wabi-sabi. And it's a Japanese theory of opposition, that if there's something new, there should be something old. If there's something black, there should be something white. And it became a compositional algorithm for me, beside just a lifestyle. That's why it's East Way, because when we take a picture, it's the Eastern Way in this HUD while I'm doing it. Unlike the uh, Japanese movies you see where they're all clinging swords and all the rest of it, uh-uh. One stroke. In fact, a sword never touches another sword. It's that fast. And it's all about what they call kamai or posture and ma'ai distance. And it's like photography. You get one shot at that. Your ma'ai or distance is your composition. It's the same thing. You get that one split second and it becomes an expression of you. And that's what it means to me. Every time the shutter clicks, I don't take, I don't put my camera on motor drive and let it go and hope to get one picture. I take the one picture. If I can't get it, I'm not a photographer. I'm, that's my style. I'm not saying that for somebody who isn't sure of focus and all the rest of it, if they're a beginner, they're just wasting a lot of frames and a lot of editing when they really should be training to take one picture. So that's what photography means to me. It's an expression of myself. What do you like about working with George? I like how he lets me do different things. When I've worked with other agents, they tend to stick with what they like, and he tends to let me go out there. It felt different, because usually I'm not allowed to do stuff like that for my other agent. She wants me to be natural and more of on the younger side. She never lets me go towards the older side, because I'm 17. So she wants me to stay towards the younger side. So it was different, but it was more fun, because I was able to do different things and be a different person that, than I have to be. We specialize in glass. We do more glass than you can imagine. For, unfortunately, photographers don't cre get credit for glass. But a lot of the bar signs you see with Guinness beer and... Uh, we, we, I've shot beers of the world that 
I don't even know who makes them. We just, they just go in front of the camera and they get sorted and that's the name of it and the rest of it. But I could, if I had a fashion magazine right now, I could pick it out for you and I could tell you every ad for perfume and if we shot that bottle or not. And I will bet that more than half of them are ones we've done. What really, what really is big now is we've been doing a lot more editorial work, which means that it, it's really creative. We work for Dior, a Christian Dior uh, Corporation, and but we don't work for them. We work for the agency that represents them, okay? And they're outrageously creative, especially uh, on New York Fashion Day. We have had our stuff on buildings and billboards for New York uh, City's Fashion Day for six years now, and that's kind of unheard of uh, because they usually try to circle, cycle all the photographers. And there's always new people, but they always come and ask us for it. And Dior always comes to us for that because they want the most ridiculous stuff. Like they go, okay, we want a garden. We want a huge stepladder about three stories. We want a girl on it. And we want her hair uh, with, uh, as poison ivy all the way reaching the ground. And it's got to be really colorful. And no storyboards. That's what makes it fun. I love, I love a challenge. And I create my own challenge even on the, on the most mundane shots. I created a couple of shots that I call Returning from Oz with uh, that two sisters decided to surprise me and they were going to be in Kelvin Klein underwear. And it's like, it is the most bizarre series of shots that also got me a guru award with the PP of A um, on their last competition. And those things help on the job, the, their merit awards type of things. But it was very interesting that um, I took a shoot like that that was just a simple two sisters and found something that I could challenge myself with and do something that I never did before. And it's kind of hard to do because I've been doing this a long time. And each time, it's so funny, each time I do something like that, I'll go, oh, it's the best shoot I ever did. As long as I keep saying that and I don't wake up one day and I go, man, that sucked, I guess I'm doing okay. I have, I have goals to retire, and when I retire, it will actually be that I'll pack everything and I'll, I'll live in New York City again, because I used to actually live up there. And um, I will move everything back up to New York, or we'll bring our dojo up there. In fact, we've already got a section of the building we're going to be turning into a martial arts school. Run everything out of New York and do only the jobs I want to do not the ones I have to do. And if I keep working the way I am and saving the way we are, we should be in really, really good shape. Nothing sets me apart from other photographers. Any photographer could do the same thing I do. But this is the secret and why they're not successful. A, I always get the job done. I am always under budget. And I always deliver on time. And how many people can say that with 45 years of work? That's not photographer, it's just a good businessman.